everybody what's up um for you that don't know use oh boy that's a really good word isn't it for those of you who don't know I live in st. Louis we have flooded two days ago we are currently flooding again I have been getting things together for donations getting things to the proper places to get things done we've tucked three or four car loads so far and uh, looking for more to take I not doing this for sympathy I'm just saying this is why the video has not came out yet I noticed that my subscription of subscribers is going down I don't know what I'm doing or not doing that I wasn't doing before but I want to tell you that I appreciate every one of you who are sticking by me and with me. And until I lose every one of my subscribers, I will be doing this. I will stick around for the people who are there for me and I'm for them. I really appreciate this. Right now is just a rough time. Um, a block that way and a block that way. Everybody lost everything. I happen to live on it's not really a hill but it's up higher ground than in opposite directions in fact our Metrolink station which is a block and a half away the cars were totally underwater the street in the back did flood but did not get into my apartment but a block and a half on down the houses were destroyed st. Louis in different places it's a total mess I'm going to put a couple of videos up here at the end so you guys can see a little bit of what's going on but I did want to hop on here and let you know what's going on here and that I did notice my subscribers going down and I'm sorry to lose anybody and it's not even an ego thing it's like I like connecting with people I truly truly love people that's why I started this channel I am very thrilled the fact that I get positively giddy when I get a new subscriber but I understand if some of my content is upsetting people because um spooky season is out and I love spooky season but not everybody does so, I can't help it. I love spooky season. It's so much fun. Um, I'm not more much into the gore aspect of horror. I'm more of a ghost spooky atmosphere. Um, I like, I have lots of goth outfits that I love. And I like gothic architecture, which is, as I explain what my room is. I... I enjoy that so if that is why people are leaving is because the more gothic side of me more goth gothic however you want to translate it is coming out then I can understand um, but I just wanted you to know that things here in st. Louis are not good they we were very blessed and very very lucky and I'm just thankful that we live up higher. We are watching cars getting stuck. We are watching people. It's just, it's insane. Um, the videos at the end are, uh, some are by my husband, some are by my daughter. Uh, pictures are by my husband and my son, Patrick. So, but this is what we're dealing here with. And as far as subscribers, what are you doing? Oh, this is my son Duncan yeah. sneaking into the room. Yeah, no, I wanted to. 
First of all, I never actually met your audience face to face. So mm -hmm. I yeah. This is my son Duncan. This is the one I buzzed all his hair off. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad now, by the way. It's growing No, up he always looked better with short hair. Hello, lovely people. My name is Duncan. I'm also known as uh, Defable on Twitch and YouTube, but that's not why I'm here. Um, so, if anyone is in the St. Louis area, just know that uh, my mother and I send our send our um, send our greatest strength and positive energy. Uh, our hometown, our home city, well, mine at least. Just literally went through a natural disaster, so for anyone who's going through tough times, trust me, we understand and uh, stay strong no matter what. My mom is one of the strongest people I know. She's actually the reason I help people. Also one of the biggest hearted people I know, so <laughs> you're in good hands with her. <laughs> um, my kids, my kids are weird. They really are. To be fair, normality sucks. <laughs> <laughs> um, my kids, we had a mini cyclone go down the front we live between a one-way street and a semi semi-popular road the tree was like 100 years old so like, and it sawed off the tree limbs and it was, 100 years old. it was like my kids got out there because the city wasn't doing anything there it was just too backed up so him and his brother and his brother's girlfriend at the time got out there and moved all the tree branches and we're keeping cars from coming down like I said a one-way street and bottlenecking everything but now on the other hand these two they're a year apart by the way mm -hmm. um, to the day they're <laughs> one month apart but mm -hmm. to the day they uh, were in the middle of Walmart fighting over who owed who what money <laughs> to walk out and put it in the red bucket <laughs> that's my kids my kids were driving this poor couple, I thought, crazy at Dairy Queen. They were a military couple. Our friends. I don't, you know, I don't know for sure they were a couple. So they're young, and I'm like, you got guys, leave them alone. Leave them alone. Well, walking out, my boy stopped and thanked them for their service. You should have seen the, the soldiers' faces. Just total shock, because I had told them to leave them alone. <laughs> That's my kids. Um, my oldest son with my husband now when an our area was destroyed by the riots we finally got a hold of him because he's hell to get a hold of mm -hmm. and i have a video of him almost in tears walking going i'm going home to get a broom they destroyed they destroyed it and this is the boys home what is this? And it's our home. And it's been, now you've got the flooding, which is on, we're bottlenecked into it. Like I said, we're trying to get donations in as much as we can. Got two carloads that have gone so far, more downstairs. We're already struggling too. And it's just, it's overwhelming. It really is. So those two things are on my mind. I'm not sure if I've ticked off subscribers. That's why they're disappearing. It's the algorithm. It's happening to me too. Everybody keeps telling me it's the algorithm. Oh, I don't know. I lost 50 people. But <laughs> I don't want to see any of you go, but I don't want you to be pressured into staying. Mm -hmm. If you don't like my content, then at least, you know, say, hey, Candy, I don't didn't care for this so I'm unsubscribing could you do that please let me know um so I don't feel like a failure <laughs> I mean I'm trying to get everything done here I will be doing the the partial room reveal but it's a tease I'm not doing all of it I'm just gonna as Annie would say I'm just gonna tease a little <laughs> I love her if you guys don't follow her follow her she is just awesome. Her name's Just Ann. And she does unboxings and all kinds of stuff. And I just love her to death. Um, I would mention other ones, but I think I can get in trouble for that. If I follow if I mention YouTubers I follow, I think I can get in trouble for that. I'm not really sure. No, nope, that that's completely fine. Is that? Yeah, I promote you all the time. Okay, well, I like like yeah, Jay the Libra. I like Oh my god, Graveyard Girl, of course. Who doesn't love Graveyard Girl? Going with the nose. 
Melissa. Melissa. Cheap chick. Very cute chick. <laughs> Very cute chick, as they call it. Don't tell my fiance. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, that's just a few. I'm sure there's um, the Grimlicious group are couple mm -hmm. is, they are cool and they do the rockabilly <laughs> theme i love that and then the carpet bed okay i could go on for hours okay <laughs> but yeah. i understand that algorithms go up and down and if that's what it is that's what it is but right now it isn't my health i do still have that headache um but now it's that st louis needs help if you live in there, if you can donate blankets, food, whatever, St. Louis needs it. I don't. I don't. I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. I'll, I'll, I'll take the food. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't. There's people who need it. Well, I'll donate most of it. <laughs> but they, we're fine, Yeah. but there's other families who aren't. You can go down the street and there's people with every belonging out on the curb. And so, I'll put the videos at the end of this. Donk! Sorry, that was my fault. Restart. I, I put it down and went... You're a child! I'm 26 <laughs> years old. I'm not a child. I'm, I'm 26 years young. And I'm from He's Canada. a child. Hey. Child. Hey, child! Did you tell them what, uh, what I'm attempting to do? <laughs> no. That's all two. Fair. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> and I will do that. I Like I said, I've got loads of videos set up and ready. I just got to get them done. And yeah, I may or may not have got on the Bath and Body Works bandwagon. Oh, no. <laughs> I, maybe. <laughs> I love you guys. And I mean that sincerely. And stay safe. And I will see you soon. Oh, like, subscribe, and subshare. I really should say that, shouldn't I? Like, comment, and subscribe. Hey TikTokers, what's up? I live in University City and uh, we had uh, a lot of rain last night. Uh, I'll show you how bad. Um, our uh, street behind us, Vernon, uh, it completely collapsed. And I'm gonna turn the camera right now so you can see. Hold on a second. Oh, I may not be able to because the rain is really getting my phone wet. And I'll turn it around. See that piece right there? That is the road that, part of the road that collapsed last night. And that's why it's floating like that. Like it looks like a little island. And then if you could see down more, you could see a station wagon. Uh, apparently early this morning people were trapped on top of there an ambulance came along um, pulled in next door here and rescued them and you can see it's just one part of the street it's not the entire length going from skinker all the way up to that next street which is uh, Westgate no it's collapsed kind of like almost till you get to the Westgate looks like the, the turn lane and you can see there's also a pickup truck stuck in there. And then this is behind our building. You can see it's starting to fill up under the edge. Um, they're saying this is supposed to continue until 11 o'clock tonight. So we may, it's possible this could reach up to our parking lot. But anybody else get it really bad? We've lived here 26 years and we've never seen it this bad. So hope everybody's out there safe. Hope everybody is um, staying dry, staying healthy. Talk to you later.